fellows. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. And if you're new around here, my name is Grace and I love plants. So if you guys haven't heard already, Sydney is in a two-week lockdown as is most of Australia by now, I think. And I'm just taking this time to focus on my plants and do some planty maintenance. I recently built a ton of moss poles and I've been doing quite a number of repotting as well. And I just wanted to share with you guys some updates on my philodendrons that I've recently put on moss poles. So if you want to see how they look like and what they are, then definitely keep on watching. Before we get started, I do post videos every week so make sure you're subscribed and ring the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my future uploads. And with that said, let's get into it. Alright, first up is this Philodendron Brantianum that I showed you guys in my top 10 favorite philodendrons video and I wanted to give you an update on how this guy's doing. I didn't actually replace the moss pole on this one, I've kind of just left it as is because it's doing pretty good. So just a quick update. In that previous video, I mentioned that I planted a bunch of philodendron brantianum cuttings at the base and they have all started to put out new growth as you can see from these new leaves all over the shop, all these tiny ones. And as you can see, the most established plant has grown out of the pole. So I did chop it off and propagate at the tips. I just stuck it onto here. So hopefully it roots into the pole and starts climbing up there. But yeah, that's what it's looking like at the minute. I'm actually really enjoying how it's looking. It's lush and full at the base. And you can tell that some of the colors are slightly different because this is placed in my Mars Hydro Grow Tent and it gets a lot of light. So I think that's caused the new growth to be a little bit more like sun stressed, <clears throat> as you can see there, as opposed to the previously pretty green coloration. All right, next up, I wanted to update you guys on my philodendron Brel Marks Fantasy. I did show this guy in the same video in the top 10 favorite philodendrons list. I think most of the plants that I'll be talking about today, you would have seen in that video. So if you wanted to see what these plants looked like several months ago, definitely check that video out. I'll link it in the cards above and in the description box below. But back to this plant, this is what it's looking like at the moment. It's doing pretty well. This plant is just such an underrated beauty. I mean look at the mosaic like pattern on the leaves. I seriously can't get enough of it. It's so beautiful It's given me quite a number of new leaves and to think that I bought this as a one leaf cutting several months ago I even propagated the tips and created a whole separate plant as you can see here That's given me two leaves and there's a new one on the way as well So I'm really excited about that I didn't have this on a moss pole previously and I noticed that this is definitely a shingling plant because I just left it to its own devices and it was sort of growing in a really awkward growth pattern where it was kind of shingling on itself so the leaves are pretty much like back to back and it didn't really look very nice so I thought I'd give it a moss pole to climb on. I've literally just attached this plant to the pole so it might not be looking quite as flat as you would generally think. But I think in time, when it attaches itself more firmly to the pole, it'll start looking a lot neater. Next on the list is this Philodendron Gygus that I also got as a one leaf cutting a couple of months ago. It gave me three beautiful new leaves. Started out with this one right here, which is the smallest of the lot. And then it gave me this one right here. And then the next one is this gorgeous beauty over here. If you have a philodendron gigas, you know that when it's still in this color, it hasn't fully matured or hardened off yet, so there is a possibility that it might actually get larger. So I'm really excited to see what it eventually looks like. And it's even got like a new little growth on the way, so it's already starting to produce the next leaf. I'm really excited to see this one grow on the totem pole because I think I've seen some pictures of other philodendron gigas like shingling up like a moss ball or other moss poles and it just looks absolutely stunning. Hopefully when it starts to attach itself to the pole, it can start to shingle for me and I'll update you guys in a couple of months time. Before we get into the next plant though, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video, if you liked it and leave me a comment down below. I read all your comments and I respond to every single one of them and let's continue. Next we have my Philodendron Sodoroid. I've been meaning to pull this one for a little while now. This is probably 
one of the philodendrons that I've had for the longest time. I think this might be one of the first like more uncommon philodendrons in my collection. I've had this for over two years. I did do a swap with the mother plant so I no longer have it. I just kept a cutting of it and tried to like restart it and this is what it looks like. So I recently pulled it up and prior to pulling it was growing like every which way. But I do think that if all the leaves face in one direction it'll look a lot better so I thought it's time I put it on a moss pole. Alright, next up we have my Philodendron Varicosum. I did decide to give it a new moss pole because the previous one wasn't very sturdy. I used a different mesh for it and it was kind of just like flopping all over the place without support. So I thought I would convert it into a wire mesh. There is about three plants in here originally, but when I pulled it up onto this new moss pole, I did propagate some parts of it. So I think I've multiplied them. There's like six in here now. And yeah, once it starts to put out new growth, I'm really hoping that we're gonna get like a full pole of varicosum leaves. I told you guys that I really struggled with this one in my best and worst plant of 2020. It's gotten prone to like spider mites and also mealybugs. This is one that I really need to keep my eye on pretty closely to make sure that it doesn't get infested with pests. And I'm not sure if you guys have similar issues, but I find the varicosum to be the most finicky of my philodendrons. It always seems to be battling something. But in any case, it is still thriving, thankfully, and it's put out these new leaves that are pretty beautiful. I mean, look at this. Isn't that a stunning varicosum leaf? And this one here. This one's pretty tiny for now, but I'm hoping that the leaf does get larger in size and time. So hopefully this new moss pole will help with that. Next we have my Philodendron Majestic. Similar to the varicosum, I did swap out the previous moss pole that it was on to this one here with the wire netting for a little bit more structure. This is a cross between the Philodendron Sotoroi and the Varicosum, if you don't already know. It's got this really nice like heart shape leaf and um, it's got like silver streaks to the leaf as well. And it also has um, a really nice red back from the Varicosum, as you can see here. I do have two separate plants growing in here, so it's looking pretty full. Not much else to say about the Philodendron Majestic. It is a all-round solid plant. It is fast growing and also fuss-free. Next up, we have my Philodendron Melanochrysum. You guys would have seen this plant in a Propagate With Me video. I did air layer this one and I'm happy to report that it was successful. Don't mind this leaf, that one's on its way out. I did chop up this plant before planting it up on this moss pole. So this is the two leaves from the mother plant and this one right here is the top section and it's looking pretty nice if I can say so myself. This is one of my favorite leaves. It has this deep emerald green color and it's looking really cute. Um, it's also given me a couple of other leaves. They aren't as symmetrical, but they're still looking pretty nice. This is the latest leaf up here, and I just absolutely love how the new leaves come out this really bronzy color. I might actually end up like propagating this part because it did skip a node, but I'm just hesitant to do it right now because this leaf is still hardening off and it hasn't actually produced any aerial roots yet, so I thought I'd play it safe and leave it for now. But yeah, that's the update on my Philodendron Melanochrysum. Alright, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you might like my other videos like these ones here, so click to check them out. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay mellow my fellows.